is an example of a sound. But as mundane as that sound might sound on its own, the process that it takes for that sound to get from myself to yourself is more complicated than you might think. Fortunately, however, it's not complicated enough to stop me from trying to explain to you the whole process through the medium of song in this week's episode of... Fun science, fun science, fun science, it's a science of fun, yeah. Ready? It starts with an idea, or an impulse to make a sound. And then a message gets sent from my head to where my vocal cords are found. And they vibrate, and cause the air to vibrate too. Then the air gets shot out of my mouth, on its way to you. This vibration I've just made travels as a wave. But if I vibrated differently, then it would cause the wave to change. If I sing lower, then the frequency of the wave drops. If I sing higher, then the frequency is high to And if I'm loud, then my microphone pops. The sound wave travels through the air, unless it hits a wall. Then the higher frequencies get absorbed, and the deeper ones pass through. And that's why when I'm behind a window, I sound like this. And if the wall is hard, then the sound bounces back, and you can hear an echo. echo, echo, echo. The sound is captured by my microphone and stored digitally. That was until you played this video, and now your speakers are mimicking me. And now the waves are back and going into your ear. Only six more steps inside your head until you get to hear. Sound is touch at a distance. When they say that music can touch you, it literally does. Sound is a vibration that thanks to modern science we can know it's shaking our eardrums. And the drum then shakes some tiny bones and the bones send vibration to a liquid and the waves and the liquid bend some hairs and the hairs send a signal to the brain and it's only when it forms a pattern in your head that you can hear. figured out a good way to end that song. Fun Science Extra! Mr. Information! Hi kids, I'm Mr. Information, and today I'm going to be giving you the gift of knowledge. Now, my good friend Charlie just taught you all about sound and hearing, and hearing just so happens to be one of the five senses, which is what I'm going to be teaching you about today. The five senses that humans have are hearing, taste, smell, sight, and touch. And those are all of the senses that we have. <laughs> Some of the things that you thought you knew about senses might be partially incorrect. Depending on what your definition of a sense is, humans have at least nine senses. Right? Nine. Not five. Nine. How do you like that, Mr. Information? The secret senses are sense of pain, sense of temperature, sense of balance, and proprioception, which is knowing where your body parts are in space without having to look at them. And now you know the truth. Mr. Information? <laughs> More like Miss Information. Get it? Because I'm calling him a woman, but at the same time he did also provide misinformation. So it's like a... How do you like that? Well, that's a very clever pun. Thank you. You've just had the almost imponderable joy of watching Charlie is so cool-like, which makes you like cool.